Today's video is brought to you in collaboration with Backswing.com, a golf publication offering insight from top pros for the game of golf. Visit Backswing.com today to help fix your game. Hi there, welcome back. My name is Richard Rice. I'm the PGA Director of Instruction at Colonial Heritage Golf Club. In this video, we're going to be talking about the follow through. How can we improve it and how can we practice it? Stay tuned. Okay, before we get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little bell for notifications so you can see more great videos just like this one. So before we dive into how to practice this, let's really make sure that you understand the mindset necessary to have a decent follow through. And I think many times this is, this is the big issue, right? We don't have the proper mindset to properly follow through on the shot. So if you're not following through, generally what's going on is you are telling your brain, in other words, you're giving your brain the input that the golf ball is the target, right? So when we do that, your brain works just like a computer would. So I say, hey brain, we're gonna go hit this golf ball. And once we get to the golf ball, brain says, okay, job done. And we shut down and we stop following through from there. So we can fix that by simply learning to work past the golf ball. So what I like to have people do is swing over top of the golf ball. So they're watching the club pass right over the ball, but their focus is actually more on sending momentum out in the direction of their target. And once we get them doing that, they see the club passing over the ball. They see the club then following through. Then they have to learn to trust that. See, the golf ball is only a checkpoint on the way to the finish line of the golf swing, the finish line being way over here. And, and I think we just fall into that trap too often of really focusing and honing in on that golf ball and making sure that we make contact with it. That gives our brain the signal that, hey, we've gotten to the ball, job done, no need to go any farther. So that brings us into practice drill number one. What I like to do is just plug some tees in the ground. And while my eyes and my attention will be here on the tee, my focus is gonna be much more over here. So I'm focusing on sending the momentum of my club out in the general direction of my target. I'm gonna put the tee in the way of that swing and see what happens. So I'm just gonna swing here right through the tee, out in the direction of the target. So right away, what you're gonna notice is, hey, the club hit the tee. I didn't even have to think about that part. So another reason we might not follow through is because we've simply, you know, expended the speed of our golf swing way too soon. So if you are firing speed right from the top of the swing, you're actually going to tend to be slowing down into the ball and you won't have as much of a follow through. So I like this drill to get people to learn and understand where to apply the speed. So it's actually a two part drill. Number one, we're gonna flip the club over and we're gonna start to swing that club through. Now, when we do this, I wanna hear that club be really loud over here. I do not want to hear that noise way back here. So the goal here is to hear the loudest swoosh just out in front of the ball. After you've done that with both hands, what we're gonna do is flip the club back over and we're actually going to do this to the golf ball. So we're gonna start right down at impact and we're going to fling that ball out there with our golf club. All right, so we've got no backswing here. We're just working on applying some speed into the follow through. This really helps people get the feel of when to apply speed in the golf swing. So for those of you who think you might not be following through because you're really expending all your speed back here, Let's try these two drills, and then you can learn to apply that to a golf swing. All right, so the third main reason I see people lacking follow through, this will be the last reason we discussed today, is simply they have not finished their pivot in their body, right? So we've got to learn to get your body all the way around and into a full finish here, right? So for those of you who are not finishing your rotation and you finish over here, this would be another reason we wouldn't follow through. So I like to give this drill for those people. We, well, this is also a two part drill here. So what we're going to do is put the club across our shoulder and we're going to 
take two practice motions where we get that grip all the way around and we get our chest, our hat, and our belt buckle all facing the direction of our target. And just as important, we're getting a straight line here right down the front of the body. In other words, I am not bent in strange directions. I am finishing my pivot nice and tall, balanced over my front foot. All right, so again, we're going to do two of these. And then after we hit the shot, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna hold our finish. We're gonna tap that right foot twice just to make sure we're fully turned and balanced on that front leg. All right, so just to recap, if you are struggling with your follow through, let's make sure that number one, we've got the right mindset and understanding that the ball is just a checkpoint on the way through and towards the target. Number two, if you are expending your speed too soon, I've given you a couple of drills to practice speeding that club up at the right time during the golf swing. And number three, lack of follow through could also come from a lack of finishing your pivot. So work on that pivot and finishing that, that golf swing all the way over on that lead foot to where that trail foot is not holding any of your weight and you've got your hat, your chest, and your belt all facing over towards that target. Do those three things, practice them, and let me know how it goes. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thank you.